Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, this video is a little bit more zoomed in and today I'm gonna do my everyday makeup for you guys. A lot of you guys have requested this video, especially after Larry did my makeup. So if you guys have not seen that video, I'll link it down below, but today I'm gonna do my everyday makeup and give you guys some of my tips. Now I do wanna say I'm not a beauty expert. I just love makeup, I enjoy makeup, but there's probably tons of other people that do it way better. Than I do so I have everything in this bag that I'm gonna use my brushes everything just like the other video my brushes are not clean but <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind but they're not they're not clean today okay so to start I'm a very like kind of powder foundation kind of gal I very rarely use liquid foundation so when I use a powder foundation I actually apply concealer first and then powder foundation on top of it so if I'm going to use liquid foundation, I'll put the liquid foundation on first and then concealer over that. So I kind of do things either way, depending on which route I'm going. So for this being my everyday makeup, I'm going to use my powder foundation just like I normally would. So the concealer I use is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It's my go-to all-time favorite concealer. It is in the shade Light. And what I do with this, if you see me looking off to the side, I have a mirror next to this camera. But anyways, so what I do with this is I conceal my dark circles and then everywhere where I have dark spots. And as you can tell, I have a lot of acne scarring and some redness. I don't have any active acne, which is very exciting for me, but I do have dark spots from acne scarring. So I'll just go through with this and put it in the areas that I need it. And you don't need a lot of this stuff. A little goes a long way. Basically, you look like a warrior after you're done. And then sometimes, like, I'll get little spots on my chest, and I'll just put, like, a little blop and then dab it in with a beauty blender. I love beauty blenders, or as Larry calls them, little bunnies. And I love these. I don't really like brushes to apply liquid. I know a lot of people do, but I prefer a damp sponge. So then I'll just kind of go in and blend this out. You didn't look like that yesterday when I did it. <laughs> No, not exactly. Okay, so I kind of like go upward. I look up just to get really close to that lower lash line and then I'll bring it down towards the corner of my nose. I get like this little crease. I have a crease here and I get a lot of redness around my nose. So this is gonna be really weird, but it's the easiest way that I've been able to do it. I literally pull my nose to the side and get the corner of the beauty blender in there and just kind of like try to get rid of that redness and then take it around the lower bit of my nose. So again, I'm gonna just kind of dampen and then I bring this up like a cat woman, like right up through here and bring it down and up. So you kind of are forming like this triangle and then I'll go through the other side and do the same exact thing. I bring it down and up, always looking up so you can get as close to that lower lash line as possible. So it all kind of like blends. And then, you know, the little nose trick because I don't know, is it because I have a big nose? I'm not really sure. <laughs> Now going through where all the spots are, just kind of dab those in. And then my chin is so bad with redness, so basically my whole chin gets covered in concealer. I don't really like putting concealer here for me because I get oily and I don't use a primer. That's another thing. Like I'm terrified everything is going to break me out, so I really don't use a primer. I've used them in the past. I did like the Too Faced, I think it was like their coconut hangover. Is that Too Faced? I don't know. The Hangover Primer, I really did like that, but I kind of try to shy away from things that are scented. But anyways, the reason I don't like putting a lot of concealer here is because I am very oily and it tends to break up on me very quickly. So if I do put any, it's basically like just leftover from what I've already blended on my face. So we are kind of all one shade looking a little better. Those dark spots are kind of hidden. Now, like, if I didn't really want to wear any makeup or a lot of makeup for girls that are going to school or for, you know, the younger girls, gals, guys that are out there that want to wear makeup and they don't want to wear a lot of makeup or are not allowed to wear a lot of makeup, what I do honestly is I'll just do this just to kind of cover all my spots and dark circles and I'll literally just put on mascara and go. And you can set this with a translucent powder if you want and then mascara and go, done. So some days I do just do this, concealer and mascara. The next item is this Tarte, I think it's the Operator Finishing Powder. I love using this for right under my eyes. So you have your powder, and then I take a Real Techniques fluffy brush, I dip it into the powder just to set it, 
and then I look up and I dab this just to make sure everything is nice and smooth nice and smooth around my nose a little bit here and then in the spots where I get a little oily I also put it there and then that concealer around my chin area and what I love about this stuff is it is so smooth like it makes your skin so soft and smooth so when you go in with bronzers or blushes or stuff like that it doesn't stick or get patchy to where the the spots where you put your concealer I noticed that happened to me a lot when I didn't really know what I was doing I still don't exactly know what I'm doing but I noticed that really helps a lot is when your face feels nice and smooth so the next item I'm gonna go in with is the bare minerals bare pro light natural 09 and this is a powder foundation I've tried their loose foundation I don't care for it as much as I like the compact and then I use an IT Cosmetics brush. This came in a set. It's kind of like a condensed fluffy brush. And then I'll just swirl this around. And then in circular motions, just kind of buff it into my skin. And then areas where I still have dark spots that the concealer didn't get all the way, I'll literally, instead of swirling, I just kind of dab it on there just to kind of give myself extra coverage. Hi, Lexi. What you doing? Want to come say hi to everybody? And then I also bring it down my neck as well. Next, I go in with bronzer. I don't do this every day, but I notice like if I want a nicer kind of like chiseled look, but not to the extent of like contouring because I'm not the best at it, I'll go in with this Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder Light Fair, or I would love translucent, but I don't have that. And the reason I use this one instead of the other one is just honestly, it's easier to get more product out. And then I take the damp beauty blender and I dab it in here and I literally draw a line from like my ear to the corner of my mouth like that I don't know I don't know I just you know watch other beauty gurus do this like Jaclyn Hill I watch her do it so then I try to do it but you know makeup's not perfect right but we're trying we're trying so now I have that there and I'm just gonna let it sit there and do its thing whatever it's doing now I go in with my butter bronzer. I love this one. I always get a really smooth finish and not so patchy with this one. So then I go in with this big fluffy brush with a sparkly pink. I don't know. Real Techniques. It's another Real Technique Techniques brush. I swirl it in my bronzer and then I focus like on this area just above where I put that line of powder. So right about there. And then I also take it around my temple area. And then the top of my forehead as well, where my hairline is. Basically, the perimeter of the face is where I put this. And again, not contouring, it's more bronzing. And then I take it under my chin as well. Voila. So that is kind of bronze. It just kind of warms the face up a little bit, so I always add that. Then I'm going to go in with the Tarte Blissful Brush Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. I recently purchased this. I really like it. It's a super girly, pinky, peachy, more of a pinky than a peachy color. And then I go in with, I think this is a Sonia Keshik brush. Sonia Keshik? Keshik? I don't know. I swirl it around and then I just kind of smile like this just to form little apples. And I just kind of brush it on and then up. I use the Norvina palette. This has been my go-to palette since I got it. Like, I've pretty much used it every single day. And I have two of the shades, three of the shades. Actually, I use a lot of the shades, let's be honest. But there's been two that I go to every single time. And it's like that kind of pink eyeshadow look, which is perfect for spring coming right around the corner. And it's these shades right here. So this one, which I believe is called Wild Child. So I use Wild Child a lot. And then I use Love in the Crease. And then this really pretty golden, it's like a light champagne shade. I put that in the inner corner of my eye. So if I really want Wild Child to like really stand out and be really intense, which I usually do, I go in with the NYX Glitter, I guess it's an eyeshadow primer, and it is super sticky. And only use a little bit of this stuff because, I don't know, if you use too much, it doesn't go well. Trust me, I've been there, done that. And so I'll only use a little bit and kind of dab it on and don't open your eye. Let it dry, kind of like fan yourself because if you open it when it's still damp, you're gonna get this weird crease right here. It's like a tiny little smidge and I just lightly tap this over my eyelid. Not so much in the crease, just literally on the lid. 
and then look down so I can do the other eye. So they kind of dry around the same time. You totally don't have to do this step. I just like doing it because it makes the eyeshadow a lot brighter. So I love using this brush to apply my eyeshadow. It is the Urban Decay. It came with the Smoky palette. And I like it because of this end. It's like a really... I'll show you what I mean. So what I do is I dip that end into Wild Child. And I get it right in that corner. And bring it towards the middle of the eyelid. Just to get right in that space. Then what I do is I take the fluffier side, dip it in there, and I do it all over the eyelid. Look going on, and then I'll just do it one more time. I love pink eyeshadow. Next what I do is I go into this matte shade, it's called Love, and then I take that fluffy brush and I'll put it in the crease. And I kind of, I don't know if wing it out would be the right word, but I kind of take it and drag it back this way. Does that make sense? And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Like that. So that's pretty much my eyeshadow done. I also like to go in with the shade Dreamer and pop that right in the inner corner. And bring it up towards the pink just to let it meet there. Next I take more of a definer brush and I go in with that shade Love again. And that's what I use to underline my, is that a waterline? Yeah. And then I just kind of meet that corner that we did on top or the color that we did on top. And I just line underneath like that. Next step is eyebrows, and I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. One side has the color, the other side has the spoolie, so I always go in first with the spoolie and brush my eyebrows straight up like that. There we have eyebrows. So if you notice, somebody pointed this out to me the other day, my eyebrows are uneven. One is like lower, one is higher. That's how my face is, that's my natural face shape, that's my... I mean, it is what it is. We're going to work with it. They always say brows are like sisters, not twins. So we're going to work with what we've got. And I don't really go intense with my eyebrows. I literally, honestly, fill them in. So that's what. And I just lightly fill the front in. Kind of just darkens them a little bit. And then up here, I kind of try to line it out as much as I can. Bring it down. Same thing with the bottom. So I kind of make that triangle shape towards here and then what I'll do is I'll just lightly fill that in and then I go back in with the spoolie and brush it. Sorry if you guys hear Lexi running. She's being crazy and running around the house. What's he doing? <laughs> okay, so same thing. We're gonna fill, Lexi! We're gonna fill in the front Follow the shape of the outside, then go through towards the bottom and follow that shape again. So you kind of have that filled in and then you kind of just color in on the inside. That's what I do. Eyelash curler. Totally not necessary. Totally don't have to do it. I just like to do it. I kind of think it makes a difference though. Like the dramatic ones, not the natural ones. The dramatic eyeshadow or eyelash curlers. I like it. So I'll get as close as I can to my lash line and then I just kind of pulse the eyelash curler the other side and do the same thing. I have pinched myself like I just did it. Once that is done, I go in with the Tarte. This is the Man Eater Mascara. I have heard that they have discontinued this. If you guys want something that's very similar, a little bit more affordable, I love the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara from the drugstore. It is hands down like the best mascara I've ever used and I like this one too. So I go in and I just start applying it. I also blink when I apply my mascara. I find that it applies much better when you blink when you do it, is that weird? I don't know. I love mascara. I honestly think mascara finishes off a look like your eyes just look so naked without it. All right, so that is top lashes done. Next, I'm gonna go in and just lightly do the lower lashes, and I mean extremely lightly. Okay. So there we have it. Now if you get any mascara on your face, on your eyelid, no worries. All you have to do is let it dry, 
take a q-tip and just kind of twist it over that spot where you have the mascara and it takes it right off then after that totally unnecessary you don't have to do it i'll just kind of go through and just blend this again just to make sure that i have it blended nicely so the highlight kit I like to use is the Glow Sugar Kit. The reason I like this highlight is you get four shades, so it's perfect to have a variety. It is by Anastasia Beverly Hill. She has Marshmallow, Gumdrop, Butterscotch, and Starburst. This is what the shades look like. So Marshmallow is a really pretty, very fair shade. This one, Gumdrop, is a golden, but not too golden, where it's going to leave a streak of gold on your face. It's golden with like a pink undertone. Butterscotch is definitely like that summer golden glow, which is really beautiful. And Starburst is perfect for every day. I like using brushes like this. This one is from Mint Pear Rendered Soft Blend M64. Not really sure, but that's what the brush is. So what I do with this, what color? I think I'm going to go in with Starburst. So if I want like a subtle highlight, I'll just kind of dab this in and then I'll put it right on the cheekbones, the tip of my nose, straight down the bridge of my nose, and anywhere else. But that's pretty much where I put it because I tend to get oily. So I literally just kind of like put it on right here and then drag it up to my temple. So like that. And as you can see, it's so glowy. Like it's beautiful. I love it. And then tip of your nose. You don't have to do that. A lot of people don't like it. I like it. It makes me look like a little Bambi. I'm happy about it. I am not hating on tip of the nose highlight. And then you can also take it right by your brow bone. This is kind of a big brush for this, but I'm not really like perfect and precise with my makeup, so that's how I do it. Next, so that's kind of like if you want a pretty little subtle golden highlight, but I'm a little extra when it comes to my highlight. I love highlights. So I'm going in with the Urban Decay De-Slick Setting Spray, and I'm going to spray my face. Before you spray your face, make sure that your eyeshadow, no, your eyelashes, your mascara is dry. Because if you spray this and it's wet, you're going to have issues with your mascara. I've done that too. Okay, so I kind of just close my eyes. Also make sure you don't smile. Don't do any wrinkle foreheads when this is damp because you'll have issues. So just kind of try to stay still. And then I just... Do this. I need a fan. Like Jaclyn Hill has that fan. <laughs> Can you tell I watch Jaclyn Hill videos? I love her makeup videos. So then too, what I like to do when it's still a little damp is I like to go in with a beauty blender and just kind of like go over my entire face and just smooth everything out. Now, if you want more of an intense highlight after you do your setting spray with a damp beauty blender, you can go back in and do this. Totally don't have to. Sometimes I do it. And I dab it in that color and I'll go in again and just intensify that highlight. If you apply highlighter after you do setting spray, it's intense. Little tip. I don't know who I learned that from, but I did. All right, so this is kind of like my everyday makeup that I do. You know, hope you guys like it. And then another trick. So when you're wearing your hair like this, I'm pretty sure, again, I learned this from Jaclyn Hill, but... When I wear my hair up like this, I wear it up all the time. Now, I don't do this every time, but I just want to show it because I'm doing a makeup video and I figured it would be perfect to add. So when you're wearing your hair up, you get these like little patchy spots or little bald spots where your hair is not really filled in, like this whole spot on both sides. So I go in with the Lorac Pro Contour Palette, which I don't use to contour because I'm not good at it and these shades are kind of dark. This is what they look like. As you can see, I've touched pan on this one. This is the one that I go in with and fill in my hairline. So I go in with this kind of brush. I literally dab it in that brown shade, tap it off just a bit. So I literally just kind of like dab this area. And now as you can see, it kind of filled in brown a little bit. It looks kind of funny right now, doesn't it? And just kind of like stamp. And that's literally what I do to fill that in. So from afar, this is what it looks like, the difference. So you have all this here that's kind of bare and then you have this side that looks a little bit more fuller a little bit more filled in so now we are complete hairline is filled in looking fresh ready for the day forgot my lip forgot my lip mm. all right so we're gonna finish off i almost forgot a lipstick all right so i always go in with my chapstick i use the eos vanilla just so my lips are smooth because I cannot stand when it's super tight. Like those extreme matte lipsticks get me a little bit. Um, this one is the Urban Decay 
hideaway comfort mat. So it's still matte, but it's comfortable matte. It's kind of like a mauve darker nude, maybe. Now I'm just gonna go in with that shade. I always start with the top lip and drag it down. I love wearing reds, especially around Christmas time. Oh girl, those are scary for me. So that is it. I also think this look, instead of like a lipstick color, you could easily just go in with chapstick, which I definitely do all the time, or like a really pretty gloss. That's easy and simple. You can pull that off for every day if you didn't want to wear an actual color. But this is the look that I came up with today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. Also, let me know in future if you would like to see more everyday makeup videos. I especially love seasonal makeup videos. So like fall, winter makeup, spring, those kind of looks. This is kind of like a spring makeup look. Minus the lip. This might be a little bit folly, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye! Everything comes crashing down. I don't know why. Oh, cool. I can totally see. Why is Mindy's brushes never clean? Ew! <laughs> I have ewy brushes. Dirty brushes. Alright. Get everything pulled out. My nose always runs. It's a problem. All right, are we are we properly blended? Much better. I was so thirsty. Okay. Next step is to set our concealer. I love using. Why is nothing gonna focus? Now that I've got little dusty powder all over my leggings. <laughs> okay, so I love this brush to apply my eyeshadow. It's Oh, wow, my English. And then, this is gonna be really hard. Okay, I'm gonna use the mirror. Okay, I got this, we got this, we got this, guys. I'm gonna do with you guys. So I'm gonna zoom in super close so I can show you guys my unibrow and all the hairs that are not supposed to be there. Highlights, now, this is where things vary. So the highlight palette I like to use is the Glow Kit, Sugar Kit, the Glow Sugar Kit by Anastasia. Girl, oh, let's try that again. Okay, so the kit. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, that computer.